Hey guys, it's Jonathan Wyatt, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the part two of the Asking Disney Princesses Hard Hitting Questions vlog. Um, I uploaded part one several months ago, and I've had the footage of part two just sitting on my camera now for, again, several months, unedited. Um, but I finally got around to editing it, so um, here it is. I want to give you a heads up, the audio is not the best. I'm very, very sorry for that. I tried to put some captions in where I could, but again, the audio was just, it's struggling. <laughs> Um, but anyways, without further ado, here is the part two of Asking Disney Princesses Hard-Hitting Questions. Alrighty, so I successfully made it to Animal Kingdom in time. Um, I had to run home to charge my camera because it died. <laughs> and so I went home and grabbed a little bite to eat and just rested for a second, and so now I'm at Animal Kingdom on the way to meet Pocahontas. I thought I was going to be um, late because I thought that she stopped meeting at 6, but then I checked the time again and she stopped meeting at 6.30, so I should make it. So yeah, here we go. Um, so today I'm actually going around to all of the princess friends, and I'm asking all of the same question, so I'm going to go ahead and ask you. Um, so I was wondering what you think is the greatest lesson that you learned from the So I just met Pocahontas. Um, that was a lot of fun. That was my first time ever meeting her. She talks really, really quiet, which um, I guess is in character, kind of. More like the soft-spoken. That's kind of how she talks in the movie. But, um, so if you couldn't hear, I don't know how good the audio was. So if you couldn't hear, um, she basically just was just saying that, like, to listen to your heart. And, like, she was giving the advice. Like, she was giving the advice like Grandmother Willow always gives. So, yeah, it was super fun. And now I am leaving Animal Kingdom because she's the only princess that meets here. So now I'm going to head to Magic Kingdom and meet Ariel, Cinderella, Rapunzel, Merida, and Tiana. Oh, I love Tiana. All right, so I successfully made it to Magic Kingdom, but apparently the monorails are broken down. So now I am racing the clock to try to be able to meet Merida in time. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but right now I'm about to get on the ferry boat, which is usually slower than the monorail, but it's more fun, so I'm not that mad about it. Um, I just really hope that I get to meet Merida, but if not, I might have to do it another day or something. I don't know. Alrighty, guys, so I have made it inside of the Magic Kingdom. Um, so now I just have to find where exactly Merida meets. I asked a few of my friends if they knew where she met, and they said she was like kind of near the castle, a little bit to the right on the way to like Tomorrowland. So I'm going to figure it out, I guess. Right now it is 7.05. She stopped meeting an hour ago. This is where she would meet. Super cute. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I'm sad. But I did meet Anna and Elsa, and they're technically not princesses. So I guess that's makes up for it, maybe. I don't know, I might have to come back on another day to meet her. She's not one of my like personal favorite princesses, so I'm not like that upset that I missed her, but it still kind of ruined my whole meet all the princesses in one day thing, so that's kind of a bummer. But I am gonna give out to go meet um, Tiana and Rapunzel and Cinderella, so that should make me feel better about our loss of Merida Rip. All right, so this is editing Jonathan, um, and I came to the parks again to come meet Merida so I could um, just edit that in <laughs> right here. Um, it's a completely different day. I actually did my whole other princess vlog like <laughs> a couple weeks ago, but I am now here because I had a spare moment. So now we are going to go meet Merida. Okay. We're going to see you, buddy. How are you? I'm so excited. Well, I'm really glad to meet you. Have you been riding your horse this morning? I was like, can you teach me how to shoot? It's like the way that you did it, like the that like Robin Hood did. And I was like, amazing. Robin Hood. You only know Merida. We only know Merida. We Robin Hood. We don't know him. That's it. You picked on it. Yeah. I think too. I think you just made it up. But I'm not going to say anything. We'll make one. Well, first of all, we need to get you a big phone call. Okay. And you've got to get a better phone with us, I think, because you want to shoot. 
understand her. She's from the other studio. You have your booty shoot in your hand just like this. Okay. And then you take your string in your hand like this and you bring it between your fingers and pull up on your face like this. Okay. And then you aim at your target. I always aim at your target. Sorry. <laughs> Not at you. Not at you. Not at you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you let it go. Let it go. Just like Elsa. Just like Elsa. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Okay. So the other day, I went around to all of the princess friends and I asked them all the same question. Okay. And I was going to come to you, but you had a little bit wrong. Oh dear. Yeah. yeah. But now I'm here. So now I'm going to ask the question. Okay. What do you think is the greatest lesson that can be learned from your story? Don't take food from strangers. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that's an important lesson. lesson. Mm -hmm. I think that your lesson you should learn. So if you have maybe strong feelings about something, don't be afraid to not back down no matter what other people may think. So even if somebody doesn't like what you've got to say or like how you feel about things, sometimes it's really important to stand up for what you believe in. That's what I would say. Alright, so I just met Merida. Like I said before, that was my first time meeting her. Um, I have never actually met her before, but it was actually so fun. So I'd say I'll probably definitely go back and meet her again. And so, yeah, now back to your regularly scheduled vlog. Alrighty, so I just copped a um, fast pass to meet Tiana and Rapunzel. And so that's not till 8 o'clock. So right now I'm going to go ahead and meet Ariel because I noticed that her wait time is only 10 minutes. So I'm going to pop in there and then hopefully by the time that I'm out, um, it'll be time to meet Tiana and Rapunzel. Hi, it's Flesh and Butter. We're so beachy today. I love it. That works for you. It's inspiring. We should have a big beach party. We should. We're really conscious. We've got like 80 now we're losing track. Amazing. Ariel is my favorite character ever. I'm so obsessed with her. Um, that was definitely one of the best interactions that I've had with her. I think I've met her like three or four times by now, but um, that was amazing. That was just, uh, it was so great. I just loved it so much. Um, so that's super exciting. And so now I'm going to head on over to Princess Fairytale Hall to meet Tiana and Rapunzel um, for that fast pass that I have. And then after that, all I have left is Cinderella. Um, and then the day will be complete. <laughs> So listen, I went home and I ate it. It was so good. Yeah, but then I made some dessert. So that's what I was going to ask. Tell me the secret to your beginning. And then.
love both of us. Okay. And don't mean to the people at home. <laughs> now, what I learned is you have to protect your dreams because sometimes they get hard and people will tell you that you can't do it. And it might come in a journey that you would not expect, honey, like I wasn't expecting to be a girl. <laughs> but if you keep working hard and you put your mind to it and you stay humble and you stay sweet, then one day you'll be living out your dream That's what I mean. Um, I know that I definitely did whenever I filmed this several months ago. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every single time I post. And follow all of my social media accounts, which will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.